Alrighty, artists, we are going to now work on the texture of our tree trunks. So you see that your tree here that's in the foreground has a darkness on the left, a lightness on the right. We're gonna ignore the little bicycle sign on it because um, that's a detail that it's not really adding anything to our picture. Um, so we can leave that out. So when we first started painting our tree, we just did it all one dark brown. Um, mine looks a little darker already on the left because it looks like I did maybe a second coat while I was working there. Um, so we're gonna mix up this light color. So it's gonna be a light tannish. So we're gonna start by scooping a little bit of white. Just put that on your magazine. I'm gonna grab my piece of paper towel. And in between, I don't need to wash my brush. I can just kind of wipe it off. Okay, now I need to put a little bit of, just a little bit of brown. I'm gonna kind of go for that medium brown. And then to get a little bit more of there, I'm gonna take a little of my light yellow. I'm gonna mix that together and see what that gets me. So I'm looking for kind of a light beigey gray. That actually, I'm happy with that. Okay, so if you needed to darken yours, you could do that or lighten it some more. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and I'm just going to go down the right side of my tree. Get right kind of in the little groove here, that armpit of the tree. I'm gonna bring that down. So I'm using my second smallest brush right now. Um, if it's too big for you, then you can level down to your smaller one. Okay. So I'm looking at each of the larger branches and there's some highlights on those. I'm gonna add those in. So think about your light source. If the light's coming from one side, you're gonna have a dark side and a light side. A little bit here. Now we just did our base coat with, um, with that brown, but we didn't add any of our details and really it could use, um, could use some more texture. So we are nowhere near finished with this tree. Okay, add that in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my smaller of the brushes and I'm gonna darken up my mixture here. So I'm gonna add a little bit more brown to that. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start painting in some of the bark texture. Now when we're creating bark, you wanna do vertical strokes to emulate the direction of the bark. And I'm kind of just adding these. These are kind of the lighter areas in the dark side. Add some over here on my lighter side too. I can bring the trunk of my tree out a little bit. Is that just a single coat of paint? It's generally not thick enough um, to give us a good covering. I'm going to go back in where it's starting to look, where it looks streaky after it dried. And if it's dark, I'm going to add that darkness in. Okay. What is also nice is that while they're wet, we can do a little of that wet on wet blending of the bark in here. So it's not just stripes of dark and light. You can kind of let them blend a little. Go back to my light. Okay, if I wanted to make my original light color look a little peacher, like I see up there, I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny tap of that red. Because remember we added that yellow? So that tiny tap of red will give it a little bit of pinkness. And then I can go back to my yellow and I can add some more of that yellow in. And that yellow and red mixed with the white, it's gonna give you a little bit more of a peachy color. And I kind of go back around until I get close to it. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna bring some of that up into my tree. Okay, and the great thing about paint is if you do something you don't like, guess what? You can let it dry and then we can paint over it. So this is adding the highlights. We still have to go in and add those shadows into our um, work too. So don't forget about that. When we do that, we'll mix our black and our brown together to really get those darker, darker shadows. So I can do that now. So the black, add a little bit of black into there. 
Okay, darken that up. So the areas where it's extra dark, right here, kind of the underside, where those shadows are, kind of in between the knobs of the branches. And that helps give separation between them. Let that go over. Okay, you have some down here in the grass. A little bit of that shadow. But really work in your layers. Kind of some really fine ones over here. And kind of just graze. But mixing those highlights and those shadows and also with those midtones, really gonna start to build form or dimension with a feeling that it's it's not flat. There's some three-dimensional shape to it in your paintings. Okay, so again, we're covering over our base painting where that was a little brown and streaky, and we're mixing different browns here. So now I'm taking the medium brown and the dark brown. I'm going in and just adding some more shading into our tree. Remember, we are impressionist artists. We're not worried about getting every bark, piece of bark and every piece of texture. We're focusing on getting that feeling of where the light's hitting. Okay, so that's what we added, that when we added that yellow in, it's giving it that warmth of the sunshine. So we can add a little bit more yellow in, kind of bring that up. But notice how I'm mixing. When I mix, I'm not mixing um, all these separate bits of color. I'm kind of mixing a little bit, and if I go to mix it again and it's slightly different for this, it's okay. But everything doesn't have to be its own separate circle. Okay, okay. really get some more brown to cover here where that's that up. I'm gonna cover up here. That still looks streaky to me there. Oh, I've got to get the highlights on the top. I didn't see, I forgot to look all the way up there. Okay. Take a little bit of white. Okay, get that down each side. And I haven't even really washed my brush either because all these are very similar colors and they're all kind of blending together for me. Um, so I haven't really also felt the need to wash my brush just yet. Um, I'm using my paper towel and kind of just wiping it off a little bit when I get too much paint on there. But okay. remember, if I, it's not doing what I want, if it's too wet right now, then I'll let it dry and I'll come back to that later. It's drying. I'm really going to kind of lighten up that side just a little bit more. It's a little bit more on there. Okay, and I think I'm pretty happy with uh, the way that my tree's looking right now. So just keep working on yours, getting that texture.